Welcome to our next tutorial. This time I'll show you how to record audio without any other equipment than your phone. And next, how to use your footage and the recorded sound and editing. So let's get right into it. If you're working with someone, you can use other person's phone as a microphone. In most devices, the mic is hidden in the bottom portion of the phone. So remember to keep it pointed at the source of the sound. If you're not satisfied with the recording app on your phone for whatever reason, you can always download another from a store. There is a tip for you and we use it every time on our movie sets. When recording sound it's essential to have a clear background without noises and check if the sound does not reverb. Native noise of the environment you're recording in is called a room tone. If you're recording outside while it's windy, all you can do without equipment is set your subject so the wind hits their back and not the microphone. To transfer the recorded audio from phone to a computer, you must connect these devices with USB cable. When you connect them, remember to unlock your phone or the computer will not be able to see it. Now we must get to this computer, depends on your operating system of course, and double click on the device we've just connected. Next you must search for a folder that is accurate for your recording app. In our case it's just named Voice Recorder. Now make a folder meant for montage wherever you want and drag audio items there. And we're ready to get into editing with HitFilm. Hi guys, now it's my part to show you how to use your footage in editing. To do it properly I will work on HitFilm Express which is a free program for editing video. But before we start editing I will show you how to download this program. So let's get started. To download your program you have to search fxhome.com. After that you going to menu and choosing HitFilm Express you can see that it's for free. And download your program. Now you can see the page where you can choose the more advanced options of your program but also you have to pay for it so to do it for free as I said we have to make this emoji crying unfortunately why because as you can see if if we all make it happier then it's cool but the price is pretty cool also so thing is that you have to move straightly to the left side this emoji as it starts to cry unfortunately and now you can download the program for free here you have to put your informations like name email password age and other things uh, remember that the best mail to use it is gmail because it works the best and the fastest with uh, fx home and after putting everything you're choosing send me to express download and you will have link to download your program as you can see on the gmail and there you can start your express installer it will move you to FX homepage and there you have all instructions how to install the program. Okay guys, now we are in the start menu of our program. To create new project we have to choose new and there we have window with settings where you can change the ratio or frame rate. You have to choose this one which your camera was recording. For my project I will choose full HD in 24 frames per second because footages are in this ratio. On your level you don't have to care about other settings, you can trust HitFilm in this case. After your setting you can create your project. 
Ok, there we have main menu of our project. Now we have to import our footages from folder where you saved it. Here you can see audio files and footages. Choose footages which you'd like to use and open them. There you can see that every chosen footage you can check or watch. Already here you can cut a part of your shot which you'd like to use. For example, if I want to start my shot here, I'm pressing I on my keyboard and then in moment where I want it to end, I'm pressing O. Now, as you can see, that only moment which we marked is orange, so now we can move it on timeline. Let's choose another shot. Don't be worried about that your program is lagging. It's normal for free version because it's not optimized. That don't have to be fault of your computer. Now you can see that shots are pretty small. To make it bigger just hold Ctrl on your keyboard and use Roll in your mouse. If you want to cut your shot on timeline you have to press C on your keyboard and with mouse you choosing moment where you want to make cut. If you want to undo your cut just press Ctrl Z on your keyboard and you will remove all unwanted cuts. Now audio. With that you have to do same job like with shots. So choose import, go to your folder, choose file and do same job like with shot. Important thing here is that you shouldn't have mess on your timeline. So if you for example have dialogue as a separated file, just put it on audio line from camera like here. Camera audio line will be replaced by your sound file. Now we can move to export. In timelines corner you can see option export. Tap on it and window with naming your project will appear. You can name your project whatever you'd like to. Now save it. After that your exporting process will start. You can watch your exported video right after export. Just tap on your output and your finished project will open with window of its source. We hope that with this tutorial you will be able to get the most out of your footages and recorded sound. In the next video we'll teach you how copyrights work, so see ya!